Welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today I wanted to do a quick video just to show you how to quickly test and speed up your Wi-Fi using your Android phone. Now the app that we're looking at today is called Wi-Fi Analyzer and for now it's only available on Android but I will be following up on the Apple devices in a later video. So this video I'm going to show you how to use it to detect which channels works best and how to go into your router. Make sure you fine tune those settings that way you can get the best performance from your Wi-Fi. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway. So for most of you guys out there, your router is gonna have two basic bands, guys. You're gonna have the 2.4 gigahertz as well as your five gigahertz band. So both bands have their pros and cons. The 2.4 gigahertz is gonna be a little bit slower, but it's gonna give you a longer range. The five gigahertz is gonna give you more speeds, but uh, if you're going through a couple walls, you might see that signal drop off a little bit. If you have a decent coverage to your five gigahertz, that means if you're not too far away and the five gigahertz is available, I recommend using that. Five gigahertz has more channels available, it's wider spread, you're not gonna have a lot of overlapping or interference as you will on the 2.4 gigahertz. Now the 2.4 gigahertz is probably the main culprit when it comes to Wi-Fi issues. So some devices may rely on the 2.4 gigahertz and that's where the issue comes in. Not only does your phones and your tablets and your, your laptop uses the 2.4 gigahertz, but also random stuff around your house, guys, like your, your cameras, your, your security system, your microwaves uh, they use the same frequency and this causes a lot of interference so real quick I'll go ahead and link this article in the description guys there are three basic type of interference there's a co-channel which means that your devices on the same channels the channels do not overlap however one device has to wait for the other devices to go so basically take turns sending data back and forth they also have the adjacent channel which means that every client and access points are overlapping and talking over each other you also have non Wi-Fi devices like I said like micro microwaves, your cameras, your cordless phones that really don't need a Wi-Fi network, but they use that same frequency and that causes a lot of issues. So on the 2.4 gigahertz, there are three channels that don't overlap with each other. Channels one, channel six, and channels 11. So 2.4 in a nutshell, guys, it ranges from 2400 to 25 100 megahertz as you can see here so these 100 megahertz in between are split into 14 channels so about 20 megahertz a piece so as a result each 2.4 gigahertz channel will overlap with two to four other channels and overlapping is what causes a lot of these issues so you guys are probably thinking what if i have multiple devices or a lot of devices on that channel so what this is an example of is co-channel guys which means you have multiple devices they'll take turn talking but there won't be a lot of interference so this will still give you better results than if you chose one of these other types of connection so currently i'm doing a review for a wireless mesh system so stay tuned that video will be coming out soon but uh, during the process i came across the wi-fi analyzer application and decided to uh, share with you guys now i did know of it or applications that does similar thing but i was really impressed because this was actually very helpful in making sure you're on the right channels making sure that you get the best performance out of your wireless so let's go ahead and launch it i am using my android device on this one so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a five star rating because it, it truly deserves it. So here's the screen that you greeted with guys. And uh, if you notice up top, you can toggle between your 2.4, which is on right now, and your five gigahertz network. All right, so pretty cool. So I'm gonna dive into that a little bit where you wanna make the switch. Um, but let's start with the 2.4. So within here, you can see all the Wi-Fi networks that's within my range. And if you look on the left side, this is the strength or the signal strength. So the higher the decibel or negative 30, the better the signal. So when you go down to negative 60, you see the second rock space and the one at negative 90, the Wi-Fi switch, and that's a neighbor's access point. So that's how far away it is. Negative 90 is probably unusable, guys. That's really terrible signal. But I want you to pay attention to the channels on the bottom. You can see on channel one, we have one of the rock space. We do have the Wi-Fi switch on channel one. Channel six, we have another rock space, channel eight. We have the Mojo and a couple other devices. So this is where you guys can actually do something about the issues that you're having with the Wi-Fi. So if channel eight, for instance, is overloaded, you can go ahead and move to a channel that's less crowded, which will help with your Wi-Fi speed as well as your coverage, which I think is big. So let's switch over to the five gigahertz and we're gonna see something similar. 
all right so rock space right here we have all three of them on channel 40 all right and the reason why they're so spread out because of the, within the mesh system one is in the office where i am right now one's downstairs one's upstairs in the bedroom and that's intentional because as you move around the house it will go ahead and automatically hand off to the closest device so that's how mesh system works but you can see mojo right here it's on channel 100 and that's by itself and we do have the neighbor's wi-fi which is on 150 or 151 it looks like so what i did earlier is move mojo to channel 100 that way it'll be by itself all right so i'm gonna switch back to the 2.4 gigahertz so with a 2.4 you're gonna be more limited because you have less channels to choose from and i'll show you that when we jump over to my router all right so let me just swipe to the right so the next one is the graph and basically it's just a real-time graph of what signal strengths you're getting so if you guys were on this screen and you moved around the house you should see your signal strength moving up and down essentially so it shows you the color right here with the corresponding network and that way you can just at a quick glance look what your signal you're getting and see how it fluctuates when you move around the house Right, so we're gonna go over to the next one so this one very very important and very cool guys so we're on the 2.4 gigahertz and it's telling you that hey the following channels are good channels for you to connect a new access point to so if you guys are going to buy a new access point it tells you below that channel 3 channel 4 channel 10 as well as channel 11 is the best channels to put your new device on so notice for the 2.4 gigahertz you have channels 1 through 14. If we switch to the 5 gigahertz you can see we have a lot more channels to choose from guys all right so same basic concept hey these channels with the eight star whatever these are the best channels to connect to currently so that view is pretty cool but if you go right here you can essentially see the same thing um, you can see that channel 44 through 64 is essentially empty 116 is by itself so you can kind of see where those gaps are and those usually are the best channels to connect your access point to or to move your device if your device is overcrowded and the last page and i'll have to blur all the mac addresses out so it gives you some basic information the mac address your ip address how far you are away from the device so the seven meters is essentially how far you are from that access point also um, gives you your channel the channel that you're currently on and it also tells you what security you are using to uh, essentially secure that network to get to your router for most people it's going to be 192.168.1.1 or it can be 10.0.0.1 uh, it all depends to find out for sure what your router ip address open the command prompt by hitting the windows key type in cmd and then type in IP config. Now what we're looking for is your default gateway guys. So whatever your default gateway is normally, that will be the IP address of your router. So once you have that IP address 192.168.1.1, type it in your web browser. Make sure you're on the same network of course. And normally if you've been here already, you already have your password set up for some routers it might be password and admin for username and password. So for my router, I'm gonna go to Wi-Fi connect then I'm gonna to go to wireless. On the router, I did go ahead and already move a couple of things, but it's pretty straightforward. Um, this is my five gigahertz up top. So it's currently on channel 100. And let me switch it here on the phone. It's currently on channel 100. And when people are saying, hey, 2.4 is crowded, that's because if you look at 2.4 band, you're gonna have all kinds of things in there and you only have 14 channels to deal with. Uh, however, if you go on to five gigahertz, a lot more channels to move your network on, so pretty cool. So looking at my five gigahertz, like I said, I already moved it to 100. It's out there, it's pretty clear. There's nothing in there um, overlapping or interference. So not much movement to do here, but if you click on the drop down, you can see all the channels that's essentially available um, for you to move this on. So I'm gonna go down to my 2.4 network i'm going to click and you can see we have channel 1 through 11 here and if i switch here on the phone it's not directly lined up with the rock space but there is some overlap right here not a lot of movement here maybe i can move it to channel 4 but we're still going to have overlaps so i do feel like it's in the best spot for now and like i said the 2.4 gigahertz you're not gonna have a lot of options to play with but essentially your router should have a, a screen that looks similar to this where you can go in select your channel hit apply and it should go ahead and either reboot or it takes some time for your settings to take place that's basically it for this video like i said this is a very cool application this is called wi-fi analyzer it is free but they do offer a paid version but if you guys like it and want to go ahead and go pro here are some of the um, features that are added so 
no ads, Wi-Fi diagnostics, support and updates, advanced settings, so filter access points, aliases, and much more. So if you guys like this, I do feel like this is a, a decent tool, but for me, I can essentially accomplish what I need to using this application, using the free version of this application at least. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions about this, drop in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this application. This is Wi-Fi Analyzer. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. So if you're new to the channel, I do everything tech from your streaming reviews, streaming news, product reviews, unboxings, and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button in the top right, smash the notification bell, make sure you select all on notification. That way you won't miss a video or a giveaway.